And this next piece actually comes to us from Wonder Capital. And let me talk about them for a second. Wonder Capital is an investment platform that allows you to invest in solar projects and earn a return. You help small businesses go solar by financing an actual solar project because typical banks don't really understand how to finance these things. Um, and so that's where Wonder comes in and they have a huge portfolio and a tons of projects in the works. So uh, if you're an investor and you want to diversify your portfolio, help these small businesses and earn up to seven and a half percent annually, uh, you can do so by going to teslanomics.co slash wonder and sign up there, learn more, ask questions. If you have any questions about this, feel free to, to, uh, to hit me up on Twitter um, and I'll do my best to guide you in the right direction. I, I really uh, thank them for supporting the show um, and, and I, I, I you have no qualms about sharing this with you guys because I totally believe in what they're doing. Um, I know the CEO and, and he's a fantastic guy and everything that those guys are doing, I just couldn't be more thrilled about because uh, really that's the, the, the premise behind this channel is to help us uh, switch over to more f uh, sustainable forms of transportation um, as well as energy. And so these guys are literally deploying thousands and thousands of, uh, uh, of megawatts of, of solar all across the world. Uh, so uh, check them out, uh, learn more, teslanomics.co slash wonder. And uh, I hope that helps you guys because I think it's, it's pretty awesome. Now the story related to this is about Tesla um, is about a recent interview that uh, CTO uh, J.B. Straubel for, for Tesla said recently um, in, in the USA Today. And he made a comment that um, he said, uh, no one should see us stepping back from solar. In fact, it's the opposite. It's like with the Model 3. People have come flooding in and are waiting, and are waiting on the product. So now we're aggressively ramping capacity. Now that's that's a really great statement because a lot of you uh, with solar or potentially waiting on solar probably have been waiting a while. Now since 2015, they've installed over one gigawatt hour of of energy. Uh, and now they're hoping to install another gigawatt hour this year alone. So that is a huge increase there. Um, now, they also need um, to get production going in Gigafactory 2, which is the one in Buffalo. Uh, apparently, you know, as I understand, there are some issues there and things have been going slow. Um, and so they're coming back online and really trying to trying to uh, get that going. Now, I believe a lot of this, this is my assumption, is that it's related to the Model 3 production. So now the Model 3 production is, is going well and stabilizing and is at a high, high level. Uh, I think, you know, some of those resources are going to be reallocated to some some of the other areas that they maybe were pulled from to make the Model 3 a success. But now that the Model 3 is a great success, uh, you know, these things can kind of kind of level out. So a uh, couple pieces here that I want to talk about. One is from Green Tech Media, who are fantastic in this space. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but Tesla did talk with them um, very recently about all this stuff. Um, and and they, were, uh, they, they were saying that Tesla is facing blowback after numerous reports of delayed solar and energy storage installations, some people receiving calls of <laughs> saying all shipments of power walls have been halted indefinitely. Now there is a Tesla Motors Club page dedicated to this as well. Um, and let me show you that here. And so this Tesla Motors Club uh, page is the power wall to supply issues. Uh, now, personally, um, I, I am having a same, this very similar issue. Um, I earned a, a Powerwall from the referral program in March of 2017, and I was recently informed that I, I won't be getting anything until early next year. That's putting it at almost two years. Um, but later I learned that apparently the Founder Series Powerwalls, which are the ones I'm getting, come through kind of a different production track. And so, you know, the, the, the current line is that you won't have to wait that long, but people have been waiting a long time for these things. Now, um, Tesla did respond to Green Tech Media about this article. Um, and, and they said that these, uh, uh, Tesla responded to G GTM regarding these press reports and user form claims. A company spokesperson said that the Powerwall deliveries continue globally for orders already placed and that new orders placed this month will be delivered at the end of 2018 or the beginning of 2019. Upon Powerwall production ramping at the Reno Gigafactory in 2019, the goal is for retail deliveries and installations to happen within one month. The company added that solar roof production is also ramping at Tesla's Buffalo, New York factory. As for PV, so those are solar panels, uh, photovoltaic panels, the company remains bullish on traditional solar for both commercial and residential rooftops and claims a four to six week span from the sale to install. Tesla had a 16% market share for residential solar in 2017, 
way down from its 33% share in 2015, according to Wood McKenzie Research. Now, GTM here says that these don't line up, that these timelines and things uh, don't exactly line up. So I'm going to read you what, what they say about it. They say, there's plenty of innovation in the Tesla way, but there's also a lot of hype, noise, and distraction. There's a clear tendency to radically overpromise and underdeliver, and there's a cavalier attitude towards one owns one's own customers, employees, and stockholders. We've all seen these qualities. Uh, we've all seen these qualities in the almost three and a half years since Tesla introduced the storage line and the power wall. The mission-centric Tesla way brought boring batteries into the hype cycle and the public consciousness, and inspired enormous cohort, an enormous, an enormous cohort of competitors and entrepreneurs to focus their lives on energy storage industry. Now, Tesla needs to manufacture and deliver on the vision that its CEO created. So I agree. Um, it's unacceptable where it's at currently. I believe that a lot of this was just driven by uh, by the, the the shift over to the Model 3 production. I think that that's really where all of this comes from. Um, but, you know, it's going to take a while still, and hopefully uh, next year we'll be considering this a different thing, right? By then, hopefully the Model 3 is up six, maybe 7,000 um, cars produced per week that you can get one of those in maybe a few months. Hopefully we'll start to see them in Europe being delivered, all of those kind of things. And then, um, and then you know, when you order a Powerwall, you can just get it right away. Because I do think that there's a, a, a really interesting... Um, uh, a really interesting application, even if you don't have solar. So if, once you go electric, you're going to want solar. It makes a whole lot of sense financially, um, even in a place that a lot of homes don't have air conditioning, right? And a lot of them have gas heaters. So it's one of those things where, you know, even though you'd think, oh, San Diego, it's sunny. Yeah, solar. It's not 100% uh, slam dunk. Once you get your, once you get your uh, electric vehicle, whether it be a Tesla or another one, Yes, it definitely becomes much more of a slam dunk. And so I think, um, you know, this is all good stuff. And, and uh, for the future of the company, I really think this is critical because this is how we're going to start to talk about Tesla as an energy company on the likes of like Shell and Exxon and these guys versus uh, just a car manufacturer. I really think this is uh, the future of the company and the cars will be great, but I also could even see, see the cars being spun off into a different company um, or this becoming its own brand or something like that. So anyways, curious what you guys think about that. If you've been waiting on a power wall, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm at, uh, on Twitter, I'm at, at Teslanomics Co. Um, because I've been waiting on mine and it looks like um, we're gonna have to keep waiting even though, uh, e even though uh, they'll be coming soon. Okay.